comedian, madman. He also happens to be my best friend on earth. He is brilliant. You are going to love him as much as I do. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Greg Travis. <laughs> Overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. I love you, man. I love you, man. I love you, man. <laughs> What's going to happen to us? <laughs> you think money can buy love? <laughs> I don't think so. I think you need really good credit. <laughs> Anybody with a couple of bucks can fall in love, but for a long and lasting relationship, that TRW's got to be perfect. <laughs> Anybody in love tonight? Got some lovers out there, anybody in love? Oh my goodness. Feels good, doesn't it? Man, I fell in love so bad one time. God, I'm talking love, love. You ever been in love? You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking head over heels, heart pumping, brain stopping, earth rocking, cloud parting, long letter writing, baby talking, goofy grinning, high and mighty, head in the clouds, slow walking, always talking, no eating, no sleeping, job losing, stop boozing, no smoking, weight pumping, iron pumping, vitamin taking, poetry writing, hairstyle, and apartment cleaning, new clothes buying, age lying, always sighing, new age preaching, beach walking, bedroom mind, mountain climbing, high five. Diving, head first diving, three feet off the ground, going for broke, hot blooded, too cool for words, as good as it gets, stone cold, blind as a bat, A number one, first class storybook, fool for love. I'm talking about love. Yeah. Love makes you do really strange things, like live together. <laughs> I love you, let's move in together immediately. I don't even know you, but I love you, let's live together. I found out a lot about myself living with a woman. The first two months is the toughest part, because you're not yourself the first two months. Women act different the first two months, guys can't fart the first two months. I really see them walking around on the streets all the time. Oh, God. What's wrong with you, man? I'm in love. Oh. I found out I was insensitive living with a woman. I didn't know I was insensitive. I was insensitive in certain areas that I had no idea I was insensitive in. Do you think it's insensitive to make love with your headphones on? I found out I was insensitive because I like to sleep late. Well, I work late. How many people like to sleep? Come on, everybody likes to sleep. I think it'd be a lot less murders in the world if people got a couple hours more sleep every night. People get irritable when they don't get enough sleep. What? <laughs> Sorry, man, I was tired. Your Honor, my client needed a nap that day. It's weird. People love to sleep, but nobody will ever admit to being asleep when you call them on the telephone. You can call somebody at 5 o'clock in the morning. You asleep? No, I was just reading. I never sleep. I just read 24 hours a day. I found out I was insensitive about her bathroom needs, like the toilet lid dilemma. What is it with women in the toilet lid? I mean, when I walk into a bathroom, I can see if it's up or down, and I adjust accordingly. What do women do? Stand at the edge of the door in the dark and do like a running backward butt leap from a bowl? Oh, he left it up again. Women spend a lot of damn time in the bathroom, don't they? Guys are lucky. We can pretty much shower, shave, and throw on a suit and tie, be ready to rock and roll in about 15 minutes. Yeah. Women takes two weeks notice and two and a half hours to go somewhere. What do they do in the bathroom so long? Well, first they shower, then they put on the body powder and the body lotion, and they start working on them nails, they file them down, and start putting on the nail polish and the nail sealer coat. Don't forget the sealer coat. <laughs> They put on their pantyhose, but they forgot to wait for their nails to dry, so they smudge your pantyhose, now they gotta start all over again. <laughs> now they're pissed off, so they put mousse in their hair, and they crank up the blow dryer, put every hair in its proper place. Now the makeup extravaganza begins. 
First the concealer to hide the crow's feet, then the then the base coat, then the eyeliner and the eyeshadow and the eyebrow pencil and the mascara and the mask, lots of eye stuff, then the lip liner, lips got lots of lips, don't just, just keep going on the lips. Then they put on all their jewelry, they put on their dress, they hate their dress. <laughs> Try on every other piece of clothing in the closet, come back to the same dress they had on in the first place. And they come out of the dressing room looking like a movie star. What's the first thing they hear? You're not gonna wear that, are you? <laughs> Love is strange. <laughs> and guys get jealous. We get insecure sometime, you know? Especially when they won't let you touch them. You get a little insecure. Well, do you want me to touch her? Well, maybe she's touching somebody else. Huh? Start reading things into things that aren't really there. How come you talked to the pizza boy so long? What the hell was that all about? <laughs> Man, the TV commercial's looking at you. Put some clothes on for crying out loud. How come there's so many people driving by our house? What, do they know you live here? What's going on? Some guy named Gallup Pole called for you this afternoon. <laughs> Crazy. You gotta go with your heart and your instinct when it comes to love and relationships, I think, because you read all these books and they always tell you the same thing. Just be honest. Have an open communication. Just tell the truth. <laughs> Do I look fat in my new dress? Yeah, you kind of look like a beast whale. <laughs> no, lying is the key to relationship, ladies and gentlemen, lie. Thank you very much. <laughs>